hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel today in this video i will be showing you how you can map your domain with any other server or ip address so let's get started with this video hey guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can never miss an update so guys let me just show you my website first so this is my website and this is my server ip address you can see here and I want to map this domain with this IP so how I can do that if I refresh this it will open a GoDaddy account because I have purchased this domain from GoDaddy so let's go to GoDaddy account first so basically I have already logged in into my GoDaddy account and you can see here this is my uh, this is my domain so you have to just simply click here uh, you can see here this is the domain and you can see a uh, DNS option just click on this and it will redirect to you and it will redirect you to some page which will show some records so you can see here these are some of the records which are important to us uh, and let me just show you what we will do with this records so now after doing all this thing you have to just go to your hosting provider host provider so I basically my host provider is uh, DigitalOcean so in manage you can see networking options simply just go here and in domain section just click on domain section and you have to add a domain here so th the domain name is cricketteam11.com I'll just check the spelling also so spelling is correct and I'll just add this domain and in the same way here also you will able to see some of the records like this so these are basically NS records that, that those are called name record so you have to just copy these three records and paste it here so just simply copy this from here and just click on add here and we have to add mm, names of our records just paste it here like this and then copy the name as well host name so host name is this and just click on save button again you have to do the same process you have to save all all those three things like this and simply just select the host name and just paste it save again you have to add one more last record that is this one copied now i'll just paste it here and i'll just save this so guys basically you have successfully saved this now what you have to do you will able to see a option here a if not then you can add a new record and and select the a part and and right now i'm just clicking it and editing it so basically you have to write at the rate okay or you can leave it blank and you have to point this to the server so basically here ip will come so i'll just copy the ip and i'll just paste instead of park i'll just paste the ip address here so i just pasted the ip address and i'll just save this you can see so basically now what you have to do you have to add these two c name records in our digital ocean account so just copy this one and let's go to c name and c name let's let me just copy this name and host value i'll just paste it and you have to just click on create so cname is successfully added this cname is not required we will have to add this ns record as well so i'll just copy this from here i'll just go to ns and i'll just write add the rate and here i will write the record like this and that has been added you can see here successfully again i'll just add ns record one more and i'll just save it now you have to go to a and here you will have to add at the rate and you have to just select where you want to redirect so i want to redirect it to this ip address so just click here and select like this and also i want for www.teams.com uh, so i'll do the same thing for also and in this way you have successfully added the records which we require for mapping the domain so 
right now i think it will take some 10 minutes around maybe to map so let's wait for it hardly it takes 10 minutes but in most of the cases uh, also sometimes it takes 24 hours so you don't have to panic you can just wait simply for 24 hours and check after 24 hours whether your mapping is successful or not So guys you can see here my website is successfully mapped and I can see my website it is open through my domain name. So that's all in today's video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to share this video. Thanks for watching this video and bye for now.